Welcome to What is Truth? Brought to you by the Southern New Mexico Church of God in Las Cruces, New Mexico. What is Truth? is a weekly program which seeks to focus our attention on the truth of God's Word. Now, with this week's lesson, here's Pastor Meyer Spock. Welcome to the program. Today's topic is, Why do you observe Sunday? Now, we have a booklet by the same title, Why do you observe Sunday? The Bible teaches the observance of the Sabbath. And the second booklet, which we have, which is absolutely free, is just what do you mean born again. A lot of people use the expression, I'm a born again Christian. Well, what do you mean by that? Do you understand what it, what it means to be born again? You could have these two free booklets and you could have a DVD of this program for free. We have nothing to sell on the program. All you have to do is call the number that you see on the screen and we'll be happy to send them out to you. We will pay the postage. So just call that number on the screen, order these two booklets, and we'd be happy to send them. Well, today my guest is Dave Gallus. Dave, welcome to the program. I know you have some questions about the Sabbath, so why don't you just ask away Okay. And we'll get started. Well, thank you for inviting me here. Uh, I've grown You're up welcome. Catholic, so as far as I know, the Sabbath has always been Sunday. And I understand that that's not necessarily true. So I need some enlightenment. Okay. Uh, let's go to the Bible. Genesis chapter 2. Dave, would you read in Genesis chapter 2, verses 1 to 3? Sure. Chapter 2, 1. Thus the heavens and the earth and all the host of them were finished. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it he rested from all his work, which God had created and made. Okay, so you see, Dave... Uh, he worked six days, the first six days. Right. And a lot of confusion comes in because people start the week on Monday. You're starting to work on Monday. Right. And, and then, uh, then Sunday would be the seventh day if you're counting from Monday. So you're working through Monday through Saturday. Right. And you, the Catholics would rest on Sunday. Exactly. But it's wrong? It's, well, every calendar starts out with the first day being Sunday. This is historical. This is historical. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, then okay. I've got it wrong all my life. If so. you, if you uh, open up a dictionary and you look up the word Sunday, it'll say Sunday is the first day of the week. Okay. Look up at, in an encyclopedia. Okay. You'll, you'll find the same thing. So the last day of the week is Saturday. Exactly. Ah. Exactly. Okay, well, that, how do we know that Saturday is the Sabbath? Okay, well, Jesus Christ knew, God knew, so God created it. God created the Sabbath by resting on the seventh day. Okay. The first six days he worked, he created. Okay. And, and you just read that. Yes. Okay, let's go to the next situation. Uh, let's go now to uh, John chapter 1. Uh, Mark, I'm sorry, Mark chapter 2, verses 27 and 28. Would you read those, Dave? Mark 2, 27 and 28. Okay. And he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. Therefore, the Son of Man is also Lord of the Sabbath. Okay, so the Sabbath was made for mankind. It wasn't just made for the Jew. It was made for mankind. Well, what did man get out of it? I mean, it, God 
God worked for six days and rested on the seventh, but is it the same deal where man is supposed to work all six days and then rest on the seventh for his own health? Okay, well, you need to look at the, you need to look at the commandment. You'll find the commandment in Exodus chapter 31 Exodus. in verse 13. Exodus 31. Exodus 31, 13. Speak also to the children of Israel, saying, Surely my Sabbaths you shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations that you may know that I am the Lord who sanctifies you. You shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy to you. Ah. There you are. Okay. So it's a holy day. It's... It, it, it is God's Sabbath. God okay. is the one who created it, right? No. Yes. Okay, no. let's find out who God is. Let's go to John chapter 1. If you'll read John chapter 1 in verses 1 to 12. John 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Yeah, continue. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That, that was the true light which gives life to every man coming into the world. Go ahead. Read 10 and 11 and 12. Okay. And 13. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born, not of blood, nor of will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Okay, well, you see, he came to his own, his own received him not. That is talking about Jesus Christ. Okay. He, let's, let's look at this very carefully. A lot of people just read over these words and they don't internalize them. Okay. okay. It says here, in the beginning was the word. This word, word, is a speaker or a spokesman, someone who spoke. Okay. God spoke and it came to pass. He said, let the heavens bring forth the light, let, let the earth bring forth the animals and the birds and the creeping things that creep, let this happen, let that happen, and it all happened, right? And it was only God's word. Yeah, but by, by his word. By his word by alone, his I word. mean, yes. Okay. And then it says that he came to, uh, he came into the world, the world was made by him. Mm. You see? And the world knew him not. They didn't know him. Even though he came into the world and the world didn't know their creator. This he is, was the creator that created all things. This is speaking of Jesus? This is speaking of Jesus. Okay. Now let, let, let's understand that. Uh, verse 3 says, All things were made by him. Mm -hmm. All things. He created everything, and without him was not anything made that was made. Got he it. made everything. Okay. So he was the one who created all of these things. He was the one who worked the first six days. He was the one who rested on the seventh day. He was the one who reappeared uh, 4,000 years later. He reappeared and became our Savior. Right, right. He, but he was the God who created all things. So he would know what the Sabbath day was. 
Right. He would understand, wouldn't he? Right, sure. And, he and created is it. the Sabbath just for rest from work of the week? Or is it more than that? Is it about reflection or, or Absolutely. prayer or meditation? or? Yeah, you should. So you, it's being thoughtful. You should study the Bible. It's a very good day to study the Bible. Mm. It's a very good day to reflect on things. It's a very good day to rest. We need to re recharge our batteries. Right. You right. know, we work six days, and you want to rest a day to recharge your batteries. It's good for you. It's yeah. healthy. And I know myself, if I, while I'm working, I'm distracted from thought a lot of times. It's just rote uh, energy. So I would, it would be great just to have that time to be with myself and with God and to meditate, uh, to pray, or to read the Bible. I enjoy the Sabbath. Mm. To me, it's an enjoyment. I've been keeping the Sabbath since 1970, and I enjoy. I look forward every week for the Sabbath day so I could rest. Well, it's obvious that you know the Bible because you know where all the quotes are. <laughs> I certainly don't. So. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you have some more questions. How, well, well, how about this? Yeah. Um, is the Sabbath just for Jews? No, the Sabbath is not just for Jews. Let's look at Mark chapter 2. Okay. Because growing up Catholic, it's like, okay, the Sabbath is for Jews, which is Saturday, but for Catholics, it's Sunday, but not necessarily so. No, okay. the Muslims are keeping Friday. Whoa. I mean, somebody could keep Tuesday or Wednesday. Right. What difference does it make? God made only one day in the week holy. To me, it sounds like somebody's trying to control and try to change God's word. They are. All right. Are. Well, that I understand. Okay. Now, uh, two, what verse? Mark 2, verse 27 and 28. Okay. And he said to them, the, fa the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. Therefore, the Son of Man is also Lord of the Sabbath. Okay, so he says mankind. Mankind, when he talks about man, he's talking about mankind. Right. Okay, the Sabbath was made not just for the Jew. There were no Jews uh, when Adam and Eve were created. They weren't Jews. So when did Jews start? Well, Jews started at Jews started at the word Judah. The word the Jews come from the word Judah. One of Judah the sons was of the Jacob. fourth son of Jacob. Okay. And all of the his progeny, all of the people that came from Judah are called Jews. Ah. That there were actually two uh, tribes, the tribe of Benjamin and the tribe of Judah and half of the tribe of Levi, that they had their capital at Jerusalem and they were called the kingdom of Judah. But there were 12 tribes. There were 12 tribes. The other 10 tribes had their capital at Samaria and they... Uh, were called Israel, the tribes of Israel. Ah. And there were times that they fought each other. The, the Jews tribes fought the Israelites? Fought the Israelites. In oh. Second Kings chapter 16, it talks about war taking place between Israel and Judah. Wow. So the Jews fought. You will find the very first place in the Bible right there in Second Kings Chapter 16, verse 6. It is there. It mentions the Jews. And that's the first time it's mentioned in the that's Bible. That's the first time it's mentioned. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Okay, that's interesting. All right, Dave, we're going to take a short break. Uh, folks, please don't leave. There's more to come. We'll be right back.
Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at HorizonGranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Hey, don't touch that dial, because you're watching the only independent TV station here in Las Cruces, the Las Cruces Channel. Keep watching. Hi, welcome to Alcazari. It's our happy hour sushi fest. We placed our top sushi rolls on special from four to six dollars. And our ice cold draft beer is only $2.50. Have a California roll, banderito roll. Sit at the floating sushi bar and the kids eat for only $2. From 2 to 5, Monday through Thursday. Located on University in the Pan Am Plaza. It's our happy hour sushi fest. Welcome back to the program. Just in case you tuned in late, our subject today is why do you observe Sunday? We have two booklets here. The very first one is the question, has the question on the front, why do you observe Sunday? And the second, the Bible teaches the observance of the Sabbath. And the second booklet is just what do you mean born again. People use that expression, I'm born again. They used to use the word saved. Or, hey brother, are you saved? And the person would say, yeah, I'm saved. Now they're, they're not using that word anymore. They're using the word born again. Just what do you mean born again? These two booklets are absolutely free. You can have these two booklets. You can have a DVD of this program for free. All you need to do is write down the phone number on the screen and we'll be happy to send them out to you. We'll pay the postage. So why don't you do that? Now my guest today is Dave Gallius. Uh, Dave, you have enough, some more questions I got a about lot of the questions. Sabbath. Why don't you go ahead and ask him? Well, okay. So we covered the idea that the Sabbath uh, is not just for the Jews, it's for all of us. But when the Sabbath is violated, say in the Old Testament, what was the punishment? Okay, let's look. Let's read Numbers chapter 15. Would you read Numbers 15, verses 32 to 36? Numbers 15, okay. 32 to 36, okay. The penalty for violating the Sabbath. Now while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man gathering sticks on the Sabbath day. And those who found him gathering sticks brought him to Moses and Aaron and to all the congregation. They put him under guard because it had not been explained what should be done to him. Then the Lord said to Moses, the man must surely be put to death. Holy smoke. All the congregation shall stone him with stones outside the camp. So as the Lord commanded Moses, all the congregation brought him outside the camp and stoned him with stones, and he died. Holy smoke. Wow. Well, read Exodus 31, verse 13, where God gives, the, uh, gives that punishment of death Exodus. to someone who desecrates the Sabbath. Wow. Whoa. Exodus 31, 31 verses 13, verse 13 yeah, through 17. Okay. Uh, speak also to the children of Israel, saying, Surely my Sabbaths you shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that you may know that I am the Lord who sanctifies you. You shall keep the Sabbath, therefore it is holy to you. 
Everyone who profanes it shall surely be put to death. <laughs> God means business, doesn't he? Wow. Wow. For whoever does any work on it, that person shall be cut off from among his people. Work shall be done for six days, but the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, holy to the Lord. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Therefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations as a perpetual covenant. Well, don't you see, Dave, how important it is to God? Well, yeah, I guess you if know, he's going to put people to death, yes. Yeah. Wow. As an example, as an example. Okay. You see, it's, he said, the, it's my Sabbath. He didn't right. say it's the Jewish Sabbath. No. He said, this is my Sabbath. Right. If you break his Sabbath, uh, you will be put to the death back in the Old Testament. We don't do that today. Well, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, okay. And now, um, Jesus Christ kept the Sabbath. Right. I'd like you to read Luke chapter 4 and verse 16. Luke 4, 16. Okay. So he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. And he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Wow. So you see, as his custom was, he went into the synagogue. So here was the creator of the world. He created the world 4,000 years before. Right. He appeared uh, after 4,000 years, he appeared as a human being, and he went through uh, a life, living a life here on, in this world, and people didn't know him. They right. didn't know he was the creator of the world. Right. Uh, and of course, he was crucified, he died, God has resurrected him, and today he sits at the right hand of God, and he says, in, I would like you to read Matthew chapter 19 and verse 6, start in verse 16, about how important God's commandments are. They're all important, not just the, the Sabbath commandment, but all of the commandments are very important to Matthew God. 19. Matthew chapter 19, and start in verse 16. Okay, 16. Now behold, one came and said to him, Good teacher, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So he said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one that is God. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. Okay, there it is. If you will enter into life, keep the commandments. Right. That's eternal life. And, is and, that important to God, that's all the commandments? Yes, and what commandment is keep holy the Sabbath? Well, it's the fourth. The fourth commandment. The fourth commandment. Okay. Uh, continue reading a little bit further. Okay, okay. And, and this is the, uh, the man that, that asked him, well, which commandments, which ones do I keep? And Jesus said, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Okay, he gave five of the Ten Commandments, okay? Right. Why did the man ask which? Because there were two sets of commandments in those days. Oh. There were the commandments of God that Moses received at Mount Sinai. Right. Then there were the commandments of men, that the Sadducees, the Pharisees, the rulers of the Jews wrote commandments of men. You, you could go, you could only walk so far on the Sabbath. You can't heal on the Sabbath. They would give Jesus a, a hard time. So they tried to take control with their own laws. Exactly. Okay, we're coming to the end of the program, and I would love to, for you to call us now. 
as the program ends, why do you observe Sunday, order the, that booklet, and just what do you mean, born again? And you could also have a DVD of this program. We have an interactive Bible study every Saturday. That's the Sabbath day at 1 o'clock at the meeting room at 1701 East Missouri. You are all welcome to come. Bring your Bible, a notebook, a pen, and bring your questions. We love questions. Dave, thanks for joining me today. Appreciate it. Thank you, And Meyer. until next time, this is Meyer Stahl and Dave Gallius saying goodbye, my friends. You have been listening to What is Truth with Pastor Meyer Stahl of the Southern New Mexico Church of God located in Las Cruces, New Mexico. For copies of today's lesson or for more information, call area code 575-650-7359. That's 575-650-7359. Join us next week at this same time for another edition of What is Truth? Until next week, we wish you God's richest blessings.